We are the paradoxical ape. Bipedal, naked, large-brained. Long the master of fire, tools, and language, but still trying to understand ourselves. Aware that death is inevitable, yet filled with optimism. We grow up slowly. We hand down knowledge. We empathize and deceive. We shape the future from our shared understanding of the past. Carta brings together experts from diverse disciplines to exchange insights on who we are and how we got here. An exploration made possible by the generosity of humans like you. It's my pleasure to welcome you to this Carter Symposium on how language evolves. I'd like to welcome you. And we know that among the oldest questions that humans have ever asked, these included, who are we? What are we doing here? Where did we come from? How did we get here? And where are we going? At Carter, we believe, that two of these questions are now eminently studyable with evidence-based research. Namely, where did we come from and how did we get here? Anthropogeny is a term referring to explaining the origin of humans and it's an, a very old term that uh, was forgotten and we try to resuscitate to, to, uh, to indicate that to explain human origins, we really need to use all avenues of science, the social sciences and the biological sciences alike. CARTA is an official research unit at, at UCSD. The three co-directors of CARTA are Ajit Varki, Fred Gage, and Margaret Scherninger. Part of the team uh, are also Linda Nelson, our management service officer, and Ingrid Bernerschke Perkins, who is our community uh, relations director. And we've got very important support by uh, Kate Kaya and John Moreland, <coughs> our computer system programmers and analysts, and also Jesse Roby and John Spots, who have all contributed to making this event possible. So pursuing anthropogeny involves most academic disciplines, ranging from the social to the molecular. And it's been a great challenge trying to get scientists from all these disciplines to talk together, willing to learn each other's terminologies and avoid jargon whenever possible, or at least translate jargon. The Carter mission statement is as follows. We want to use all rational and ethical approaches to seek all verifiable facts from all relevant disciplines to explore and explain the origins of the human phenomenon. While minimizing complex organizational structures and hierarchies, which we find quite difficult, and avoiding unnecessary paperwork and bureaucracy, which is equally difficult. In the process, of course, we want to raise awareness <coughs> and understanding of the study of human origins within the academic community and the public at large. And I'm very happy to see many faces that I know from around here, not necessarily just the university. Of course, we want to give special thanks to our major sponsors, the G. Harold and Leela Y. Mathers Charitable Foundation of New York, and its executive director, Jim Handelman. We've been very lucky to have a lot of supporters uh, over the years, 
Uh, many of them are here in this room. I'd like to specially mention Annette Merle-Smith and Rita Atkinson. And thank you all for this important support that continues to make these public symposia and important exchanges of information possible. Also, special thanks to the UC uh, TV crew, Rich Wargo, Matt Aliotto, Marcy Bretz, Ken Kebro, and Jacob Parker, as well as voice and video, <coughs> Mike Gimor and Josh Stolze, and our ASL interpreters, Dan Fisher and Amber Graves, who you see very busily translate up here on stage. I thank you very much, and without further ado, I will introduce uh, one of our two chairpersons, uh, Roger Levy, please. <laughs> 